stop watching. So, that. who remembers what happened last week? No. <laughs> um. So yeah, are I we guess we we are. Okay. Cool. You didn't you start checking. I meant to say. I thought I said. You no, know, I didn't think I said. Well, I meant to say, and I said it in my head. I didn't say it out loud. So helpful. I know. It's the Flip kind it. of it's the, it, yeah. Let me just get on my get on my level, people. Um, I'm very telepathetic. Um, telepathetic. Yep. Okay. All righty. So I'll move us to the world. Yep. So I think as you're kind of like traveling, like the first, um, maybe day and a half goes completely fine. Um, and then stuff. Yeah. So we're we're you're somewhere along this red line. Maybe about here. Um, what? Uh, who is on what? Like, is everyone up? Or like, it's probably morning-ish of the. I'd all say after af afternoonish, maybe. So I guess everyone. Yeah, afternoon we'd all be up. up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're still awake. Yeah. Um, and you're kind of just leading the, the. Um. These guys along did did um use kind of just mingle a bit or are you kind of keeping to yourself? I assume Tilda was mingling. Well, at the start, obviously, um, I mingled to make sure everybody was a bit comfortable with how weird we all are. Um, oh but yeah, for sure. Me and Ovik definitely chatted well up front, especially given that this if it's been like a day and a bit, then yeah, yeah like we definitely. Um, Ovik would have just been mean leading the. Leading the caravan, not really talking to any of the strangers, but uh, whenever Tilda comes up, just have a chat. Okay. I'm probably yeah. happy for most of it, um, unless I'm needed to, you know, keep everybody's spirits up, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, do you like talk about anything specific? Or are you wanting to have a thing, or are you just, yeah. like, just talking? So I think that we'd talk a bit more about my shield, and then <laughs> Tilda's enthusiasm with my skill on the shield sort of made me think that. Maybe I should start doing a bit more um, blacksmithing. Sort of take it into mind. Uh, I would like to have some some better armor than this. Maybe like in plate mail, something that sort of stuff. And then um, have a chat about uh, sort of gathering materials to start uh, attempting to to build some new stuff. Maybe doing some commissions for other people in the group or elsewhere. And maybe it feeds in on that conversation. We just had like the meds conversation of till the thing. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Then, if you've made your armor yourself and it becomes damaged, you'll know exactly how to repair it. Mm -hmm. Very smart idea, Ovik. Where do you think we'll get the materials to start this venture, though? Um, I believe we will source that with no particular difficulties. If we are indeed up against any unfortunate foes, Perhaps their materials can be utilized for your project. Hmm. Perhaps trophies, if you will. Mementos of your journey while making this armor. Hmm. Indeed. I believe that uh, we're bound to come up against some uh, some foes of to have adequate levels of metal built into their weapons and armor, I guess. She questions the word levels, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I believe um, we shouldn't rely completely on salvaged metals, but I'm sure there will be people willing to trade with you. Perhaps even, indeed, for your services. I mean, a strong arm can be hard to come by. Hmm. Now, can I just do that thing where like, I kind of like hug your arm, kind of like briefly, <laughs> and let it go? Um, I want to keep it all very kind of pleasant, you know, the chat. Yeah. Definitely want to encourage you, Vic, with the tones. Everything's about, like, yeah, I totally think you should go down the Smith route. Mm -hmm. Creating yeah. things in the world is way better than destroying things. <laughs> yeah. No, I like yeah. it. Um, as they're sort of doing that, like, what's um, that god awful noise? Um, what's this um, Dig Dog Leo up Gregory, to? please stop, like, breathing into your microphone or whatever. Just stop, stop humaning. Um, but yes, no, the dog will can start talking. <laughs> um, but I might well, I was in the back caravan, I was sleeping with fucking dog like, but I'm 
honestly, if the caravan's still rolling, I'm just sat looking out the back. Mm -hmm. Stroking dog. Just, just, just doing me, really. Or a day and a half doing nothing. He's bonding with his dog for a day and a half. How dare you? I'm bonding with my dog. I'm teaching Sorry. it tricks. Okay. I'm, I'm what kind of tricks, tricks are you um, teaching this this dog, big dog? Uh, steal. well. Steal. Mm. <laughs> well, steal. Yeah, the, the the dog the dog can seduce my victims while I go and rob them. Oh, the one trick that all owners want to do is a dog. Love me. <laughs> <laughs> that was well, unconditional. Sort of sit, stay, beg, that sort of dealy. Yeah, okay. I guess, yeah, I guess. Uh, you, you know what's coming, don't you? Roll animal handling. Yeah, please do. <sighs> While he does that, Emu, what what sort of like were you, were you sort of up to um for the for the day and a half? Um, probably walking alongside the the cart, sort of, um, fairly happy to be out in the um, out back in the wilds, but being very much not talking to people even even for emu standards being quite like um non-verbal and just keeping an eye out for for anything untowards one word am i that's that's probably generous <laughs> <laughs> yeah you could probably walk faster than the the pace we're going at um or do you know jog faster than the pace we're going at they're they're taking quite a um uh, and it's an easy sort of pace, um, just to not like they vote they have limited food. They don't want to tire the horses out too much. Um, yeah, and just for like RP bonus, I guess um, I do have like unarmored bonus monk movement. Just trying just so it wouldn't be difficult to to keep up with. The yeah, I, was say, I think out of everybody, the monk's definitely one of the faster people in the party. Hmm. Oh yeah. Um. Yep, yeah, and uh, I guess that leaves you a uh, British Gorham. I am skulking around on all fours, enjoying the outside, presumably fields of wheat. I am doing my Theresa May impression, stuff like that. And generally just sniffing the air to sense if anything's around us. You should find a small island to govern along the way, like <laughs> briefly. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they go independent, I guess. <laughs> I'll start my own caravan. <laughs> Blackjack and hookers. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, cool. So, like, yeah, you know, like maybe maybe a day and a half comes along. Um, I just say I think that throughout time, Olvik's obviously keeping an eye on the the space around the front and the sides of the caravan just to see if anything pops out. Um, yeah. And another thing that I'd mentioned to Tilda, I just sort of asked, um, so how much do you trust the, the rest of our group here? She kind of just smiles. Like maybe like she's, if both of us are like doing that thing where we're looking at the front of the cart and then like to the left and right and whatnot, so never really looking at each other. Um, and you say that. I think she just kind of smiles off in that, into the, kind of the middle distance and says, Trust's a bit like a, a river. You may see it moving fast, but until you get wet, it's hard to tell. I think I'll just leave it at that, as vague as fuck. Okay. As you say that, I'll be like, um, if we're going to work together, I think that maybe I should get to know some of the, the others a bit better. I've grown to have some trust in your knowledge and general social skills. But I just pat your arm and say that unpleasantly. Um, but I am still a bit wary of some of the others. <clears throat> it is good to be mindful of it. I think um, complete trust in anyone would be folly. She says, eating a biscuit. Mm. Eating a biscuit. Mm. What kind of biscuit? Um, I have a box of McVitie's family circle, so oh, it's nice. really whatever hits my fingers first. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, I won't make you roll for that, it's fine. Um... So yeah, um, feel free to uh, act as a middleman with any of these conversations I may have with them. I feel like you may 
tone down some of my harshness in social situations. I think you make a fantastic first impression, quite frankly. I know. I was at you pleasantly. The trail yeah. music picks up, you know, the camera zooms <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, as you say that, um, you, you, I suppose the two of you at the, the front would then kind of see first the inevitable. Um, I mean, let's not be so hasty. What's inevitable, right? Um, mm -hmm. I was fully expecting no encounters during this journey. <laughs> the inevitable. Oh, hold on. The thing's not dragging over. Uh, ah, get, bear with me. What if we just steer the other way? There's yeah, a bear. Just, uh, I think we should turn around. <laughs> Every Are now we and then. Here's quick Gorm. Form of bear. <laughs> Form um, of Tilda. So yeah, uh, you come you come to a crossroads. Uh, oh wow! It is a crossroads. What did the sign nice. say? Uh, the sign says so. The one like um, this one here, the one pointing to the. East uh, says to always east. South bottom town is east. Are we meant to see the um, goblin things? Yes, you're meant to see the goblin things. Okay. So we, the um... one saying this way is to is to Pampai. What is uh, the wind? Down what this way is like road to nowhere, um, and up here, uh, kind of. Uh, takes you to places that have been unnamed. Whoops. <gasps> uh, and yes, uh, you can you can move into your the where you would be on the thingy. I just kind of plonked you. I would just be next to this horse. I should oh, be at, one. at the front next to the horse because I'm like holding its bridles or reins. Yeah. That's or I in back caravan. You in it or <laughs> well in yeah. it yeah well you're awake so wouldn't you be walking behind it with your dog teaching it cool tricks oh yeah i suppose you're right does borkers get a token uh, i was looking for that. dog to tokens and i don't think you want borkers to have a token Ow! Ow! the reason you don't want that is because then it can't be targeted ah yes and wait why is everything you... back in the goddamn cart you idiots yeah, why is everyone <laughs> suddenly miles away from us <laughs> Yeah, like no, you can go back where you were. I'll stand next to you. Um, if we're okay, fair enough. Walking, walking, let's just stand in front of the. Yep. That though. I guess, I mean, I'm not, I guess there, maybe. Sure. That seems fine. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, yes, that works. Um. So yeah, what what were you kind of coming across? <laughs> Simba. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gorm, are you wanting to be somewhere else? <laughs> uh, they're fine. No, the Senya. And I be Silva. Kenya, move. So good. Yes. I'm fine where I am. I'm top okay. Of the rocks. That's fine. Reenacting the Lion King. So as you, as you, maybe as you, you're standing on top of the rock there. Um, you see, obviously these these lovely looking gentle people. Well, which way is the wind blowing? Is my question. <laughs> it's important. Um, the wind is blowing from the south. See this way. I'd probably just yell like after sniffing and <laughs> goblins. I smell goblins from the yes. south. We can see them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So this this group over here seem to be shouting something at these two. Um, I can't oh. see you if you're pinging or. I'm I'm drawing arrows. Oh, I'm not looking. So the the trick there there would be to point from the group. Cause oh, that way good you idea. Because generally people good look idea. at their tokens they've discovered when running. Oh, okay. Out enough. There you go. Right. So these gentle people over here seem to be shouting right. at these. Oh, I it's okay. Gentle. They're gentle people. I heard God say it. Um, and um, these guys over here just seem to be standing around. Okay. Um, 
Can I say yeah. the first thing I say is just shout to the people behind us, get back in the cart. Um, I think as you shout that, um, the the this southern group they all stop kind of shouting and turn and look at you. Can I draw my shield as well? Uh, yeah. Do you have a parchment? Parchment. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to very hurriedly put Borkers back into one of the carts. Uh, yeah, you you can't see Borkers. I think Borkers has already bolted into like one of the carts. Um, as you kind of yeah shout that. Um, yeah, these these lot kind of turn around and just kind of stare at you, and their eyes go wide, and they fumble to draw weapons, and then they shout, uh, "Roll initiative, people!" <laughs> and they get out their, their D20s and start rolling. Everybody click their tokens first. Yes, everyone click their token first, please. Aww. They're late. Oh. oh, fuck, I did it too early. It says, you wanted to... Hang on, fuck's sake. What? No, apparently... No, oh, fuck, because I click my token, don't I? Oh, damn it. Yes, click your... Why token. am I first? Uh, it'll start at 170. Rolled. <laughs> Is so shit at that despite her plus three fucking health. Nice. Um, minus one. That's always fun. Emu, what's your dex? Moodifier. It's probably gonna be three. Uh three, I think. One sec. Cool. Yeah. I wish I could have said I one more you. thing before. Oh well, my my but... my uh, Yeah, Story. modifier saving throw. Uh oh, modifier. The... Just the the, the plus okay. what yeah. your modifier three. Is. Yep, cool. Uh, and you and what were you what, were you wanting to say something before it was like? I was gonna say, say something, something like, uh, create formation or like surround the carts to us, or you know. I guess I'll just activate my fans because yeah. Yeah. Goblins. That's, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, let's turn, turn order as well. I forgot. Yeah. Shit. As I shouted all that, I drew my shield. So. And my warhammer. Uh, where was this? Fixed it. Okay, cool. Um, stop that. So Emu uh, gets to to act first. Um, I think maybe you maybe you heard um. Ovik shout, "Get back in the guards!" and take formation or whatever you said. <laughs> He's cool. I'll come back. Or up. up. Um. So yes, oh, sorry, Emu I... up. So, oh, that's fine. What would our Resident monk like to do in this weird situation. Totally unpredictable situation too. <laughs> yep. Um. <laughs> so, um can you just get the first six? I'll get <laughs> the one left over. Right? Can can we see sort of what sort of they're they're armed with? Uh huh. Um, mean comments. <laughs> mean comments. <laughs> no, my feelings. <laughs> so, um, the ones kind of furthest away. Hold on, I'm using the wrong thing. That's why. Um, so this guy, this guy, aunt, this guy. They're all using short bows. Um, and this guy, this guy, is um, they're using. The, they've got their scimitars kind of drawn. Uh, the guys over here, they don't seem to be doing anything, they're still just standing, um, as it stands. Um, okay. Um, then I think I... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move up. To um, so can, I think I'm sorry. Uh, move up to like here. Um, and um. 
Can I take the dodge action? Mm hmm. You certainly can. Do you want to pep yourself with a, um, a dodge? Um, I, I can't remember what we agreed on, but. Nice. Cool. Uh, any bonuses or anything, or is that? Uh, no, I think that's probably all I managed just now. Thanks. Cool, 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 cool. Right. I'm gonna go check my food. So B O B. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is roll a Oops, that's not what I meant to roll at all. <laughs> uh, uh, right, no, that's because it's not a real dice. There we go. Cool, um, this gentle goblin man over here, he's very gentle. Um, he's a very nice guy. Uh, and he's just going to uh, attempt to rag on this ragamuffin. Who is he attacking? Sorry? Oh, sorry. This ragamuffin. Oh, okay. Cool. What is he on? The short bow? Uh, 80. Let's go. Cool. I actually asked what he was armed with, not just the word oh. 80. He's armed with his short bow, yes. He's armed with 80. He's armed with 80 short bows. Uh, oh, hold on. I've, I've Rather cumbersome for him. Things have opened. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. It's like, ah, my screen's gone funny again. That's not good. Mm. Um, yeah, and he kind of, um, he, he draws a short bow. And it kind of just hits into that tree. Um, no, nothing. He's in, a, he's in a, bit, a bit of a bad mood about that. See the, like, are these all trees? Yeah. Um, so, so, like in this one, the, like this tree starting here, that tree like like starting there, like and the, these are all trees and stuff. It's just because I know what you can like I can see past yeah. and what's gonna hit and stuff. But for the most part, I'm assuming that one of the squares will be the tree, and the rest you can. Like, the rest is just like you know above tree foliage stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's just for people walking about the place. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Yep, and then he's going to. I think he's actually gonna put, stay put actually. Um, this guy is going to just kind of run up to there uh, and this guy's actually gonna step out. There, this guy's gonna come out. Oops, sorry. So is he not, sorry, is, is he not acting? Uh, no. Okay. Not doing anything. Cool. Cool. Does he have a bow? No, he's got a short sword. Oh, okay. Charging with a sword. Sword. His sword. This guy's going to go over there, and I guess he's going to take a pot shot at Unicorn. No, there he is. Gerblin. I'm going to assume that hits Gorm. I don't know. If Gorm he's... here is. No, he's not back. Here. Gorm is here. Sorry. Hello. Apologies. You've been. <laughs> You've been with Wopad. Take a take a Wopad. Sykes. Pokey damage from uh, uh, Abu. From this game. Can't my token. It's because you're probably on the measuring tool. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Now, uh, how sore is that a hit to you? How how bad does that look like it hurts you? Not at all. Okay, cool. How do I how do I tell? Are you just talking uh, from a narrative? Yeah, just because we don't get to see each other's health. Yeah. So right, yeah. Um, a like scale really, of one to whatever your hit point maximum is. If you had like ten health and you took nine damage, it's probably gonna hurt. By yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say I'm not 
I for the count in any way, but I definitely clearly winced. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. But do I just put in the six and the green, or no. the red? So, have you clicked on your token? Yep. And it's got the circles. Click yep. in the red circle. Yep. Hit minus six. Yep. Enter. Done. There we go. Thanks. You're welcome. And you can do the same with plus, etc. as well. Just oh, everybody knows what maximum health is, because obviously you can only go to your max health. Um, this guy's going to run with his sword. Swords. His swords. Um, oh, I did not measure that properly. Uh, yeah, that's fine. He's going to move down in front of his, his dude. Uh, I cast Wish, and I wish that goblins never existed. So... <laughs> You've got another two wishes to go. Damn. The I, I wish sorry. that had been enough. <laughs> <laughs> one one more. No, that's it. I want to see okay. the second one. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll see. Uh, and this guy is going to just kind of shout, going with a that? sword in the air. Okay. In a bad mood. Uh, and that's that's all they're going to do currently. Dig Doglio Smithington. Right. These bastards have startled my puppy dog. So, uh, am I allowed to use rage? No. Yes, of course you are. Yes. Cool. Excellent. Uh, right. How far are you able I'm... to get in range for anything? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. My... Good. 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 Um. Okay, just on account of where they are and how it's a fucking straight shot, I'm gonna move twenty feet to about there. Well, that's... Then, like pretty much while I'm running, use my rage. Wait, hold on, what does the effect of rage again? Can... What? I know. Rage doesn't like I get to roll with an archer or something here. So no, you get a plus two to your attack roll. So how are you going through the cart? Mm, you need to run round it. Oh my god. Okay, well, if that's 30 feet, I'm gonna fucking go to there then. It's alright. But, like, you could if you wanted to, like, just again, for the sake of it being early in our combat lives, like, from where you were, right, you can get, like, there, then there, and that would be you in range of this dude. Then you could rage and still attack if you wanted to. Okay, that's actually not a bad idea at all. Yeah. It's not a bad idea at all, because I was going to fucking rage and javelin, but I don't think you can rage and javelin, nope. can you? Range, nope. is, range stuff doesn't count. <laughs> you, well, fair enough. you get a plus two to your attack roll, and the damage it does. Okay, uh, excellent. It's only damage. Is it just damage? Right. Yep. He, he'll know, because it's in there, right? Like, it doesn't say you get a plus yeah. two to attack. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, bonus damage, yeah, sorry. It's anyway. the, if, you're, if you're doing that, can you t pip yourself with the the angry strongman. Uh, it's on till death, you're saying. And we'll just use that for like rage because it's also like all your resistances matter. Wait, the angry strongman that's on tilde, which one's that? That guy here? Yeah, I'm tilde. Yeah. See that little icon? Yeah. So click on your token, and then click yeah. on the circle beneath the, the token, not the cog, and then feed yeah. him. And that can like mark your rage. And your rage lasts for one um, minute. So minute. So, Callum, do you want to add that to the turn order? Yeah, I have. Have I not? Did you, you do a minus one calculation? Hi? Did you oh, no, I didn't actually. How do I do that again? Sorry. So, delete rage. I'll delete that. Right. Add. Add. So, it's under the name. It's got round calculation, minus one. Uh, hold on. Uh, so, if I... Right. Uh, under the name... Where I choose the name. Oh, if I hit add... No, nope. whoops. I just added that. Idiot. Mm. Okay, so what I see is add custom item. Is that right? Yep. But you need to name it, and underneath it, there's a minus one you type in. There's two lines of text you type in. Ah, so that's what that is. So it's uh, minus one. Ah, I see. Now I'll add that. Add that, then add in. T type it in to be 10. Yep. For a minute. Right. Now just cycle the order right back around to him just now. Perfect. It's ticking down. Cool. Now I put him back at the top and change it back to 10. Uh, I'll just have a quick 
no <laughs> I was like, it'll be way faster. And that's fine. And cool. It, yeah, perfect. And I always put like spell effects after the person because it gets confusing if it's before it. Yeah. That would, perfect. Be, that would be acceptable. Cool. Brilliant. Anyway. Sorry. Continue, Dig Doggleo. As I fucking move, I uh, bob my head forward like a, like a metal headbang and fucking whip the great axe out of a fro. Great axe out of the fro, and I just. Once I get there, I take a big ass fucking swing on this dude. Okay. Hit me. Fuck. Or don't. <laughs> He's so angry. Like, you're just so enraged, you can, like, just bring it down and it lands right next to the goblin. <laughs> and the goblin just, like, smiles at you, holding his, his scimitar. Keep in mind, you will lose your rage if you don't follow the rules of rage as well, which is, um. You have to attack every turn. No, it's um, so you, that's one of them. But you can also um, I think you could, if you've taken damage, so if you've not, if you need to take a hostile creature or take damage. It'll end, and you can end it as a bonus action, but you just wouldn't. Also, mark off a use of rage from your tracker and all that nonsense as well. It should be in your resources above all the red text column. Um, yeah, it's uh, two rage. So do I? Take that down or? Take that to one? Yep. Yeah. Because you've used one. Okay. Cool. But it's on for like 10 rounds, so. Okay, nice one. Cool. It's also really good for the damage resistance, by the way. Really good. Cool. So, Ovec. Here. Um, well, let me Based on that. the assumption, you can't really do anything else, Dig Dogwheel. Um, not really, no. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run down here. Can I? Does that show? No. Nope. Oh, it doesn't show anything. It's annoying. Uh, down like here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Into the square. Um. I was gonna say I, I kind of want to like intimidate them, sort of draw their attention onto me. Um, if that's possible at all, or would that be a whole action? That would be your action, I believe, unless somebody wants to correct me. But I would say. Yeah. Oh, I would say that is an action worth of a, a skill check. Any skill check, really, that's weighted that way. Okay. Like, I would be rolling a perception check for certain things, is but like trying to suss things out, like with like with the Arcana Elemental thing, that would be yeah. an action. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the here, um, just to get in between as many goblins as I can and the carts. And just sort of get my shield, like get my head warhammer, and scream at them, and try to sort of like intimidate them, make them think that I'm the biggest threat and that I'm the one that they should be attacking. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Give me your intim. Oh, please. Edition. God. Oh. Hey. Yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, what like talk me through it. That's a good roll. Yeah, I just uh, go past till the. Be careful not to nudge her out of the way or anything, just sort of go around her. I trip you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as I'm running, like, pulling my shield out, pulling my Warhammer out, obviously I did that in the last turn, but you get the point. Uh, for, for visual, yeah, yeah, I get it. For visual. And I just sort of charge forwards, sort of land on the spot, smash my Warhammer into the ground, and then, like, lift my shield up, both arms out, and just scream. Yeah, and as you do... In a really um... low, gush roll scream. Yeah. <gasps> Yeah, uh, as you do, you you get you definitely notice like every goblin's head kind of turns to look at you, um, down here, um, including this guy because you know, um, he's got nowhere else to look. He has nowhere else to look, um, and th they are very. They're, they they don't seem like like terrified of you, but they're yeah. like right. This is definitely right. We need to take this guy down. Exactly and they all look at you like attention. menacingly with their with their like toothy grins and, and brandishing their weapons and look like kind of getting ready for the the onslaught. Nice. Yep. Uh, any bonus actions from you or anything? Um, if you have any or. Nah. Cool. All right. Well, upon seeing this, obviously, the merchant guys are hightailing it into the wagons. 
they reveal that they're actually all super experienced rogues. They Obviously. all like shadow blend into trees and then they all fire their crossbows from the trees, right? Yeah, that's exactly what happens. They all have the movement. <laughs> they create shadow images of themselves. Yep. Um, yep. That's exactly what happens. Uh, and I guess that's their turn. Brigish Gorm. Um, I think I'd probably hold my chest and breathe slightly laboured and uh, hold my wound and then quickly do a... Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that because it's going to end terribly. <laughs> What's when the other two next to you hit you? I had a, a wee question before I do some. See, I have a bonus action. Can I take my bonus action first? Mm -hmm. You can do it in any oh, order you like. Including your movement, remember, if you've got like 30 movement, that yeah. can be done in like square by square. So you can do like and a it couple can of... be broken up in DD? Yeah, a couple yeah. of moves, bonus action, it's couple of moves, action, couple of moves if you wanted. It's actually really nice. Previous editions sucked because they couldn't. Well, in that case, I'm going to take my bonus action and cast a spell on this gobble here. Um, okay. Just... Bonus action casting time, obviously. Um, I think it's instantaneous. No, it, it will say the words bonus action. Yeah, and... that's what it says. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Cool, cool. Otherwise, it would say action, and then it needs yeah. to be an actual action. It says bonus action. Cool. So, just click it into chat. Do it. Sure. Do it. Oh. 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 <laughs> um, so no, I, I should know what the spell like what, right, the, what so it does. I think it's a, a something uh, something save. Or you place a curse upon the creature that you see within range until the spell ends. You deal one d six extra necrotic damage to the target whenever you hit it with an attack. Uh, hey Google, stop. So, hip yourself just now with concentration, which is like the little mind with the lines coming off of it. We'll do this sequentially. If you get hit, you need to do concentration saves. So we'll deal with that when that happens. If you get yes. hit, right? Nice nope. That's usually right. not for mage armor. Um, that one, yeah. That's concentration. Um, it's for an hour, so unless this is going to take like a hundred turns, you yeah. don't need to really track this, Callum. Yeah. yeah. It's only stuff up to like a minute or whatever, or ten minutes. Even ten minutes is a push, right? Because ten minutes is like a hundred, so fuck an hour. Um, that damage doesn't happen straight away because you've not attacked them unless it says it happens. Well, not, actually, I'm pretty sure it says when I attack. So what you would do mm -hmm. is you would just click hex every time you attack. To do the extra hex damage. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, choose one ability when you cast the spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. If the attack drops to zero HP before the spell ends, uh, you can use your bonus action to move the curse to any creature. So all my attacks on that creature from now are at disadvantage? Nope. You choose an ability. It has the hex on. Right. So, so pick one of its stats. I'm gonna suggest you maybe want to pick like um strength or dexterity, one of the two. Probably that one's attacking with a sword. Yeah. So this guy here has a scamatar and this guy here is a scamatar. Scimitar. 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 So I'd say strength or dex. I would say one of those two, so one of those two. Uh, dex, I guess. Uh, which uh, one's that at, sorry? Uh, the one there, right? This guy. Yeah, that one. That one. Um, trying to put some kind of cursed thing, like maybe as a I know. Uh, Purple is usually what I would go for, to be honest. One of those green. Ah, no! <laughs> I think. I like pink. I like pink. I feel like Gorm's magic is pink anyway. Probably. And then I want to cast a spell. You did. That was a bonus action, though. 
it is a spell though. Uh, the only thing you can do is a cantrip now. Because okay. you've already used it, because you've used a spell slot. Okay. Right, um, so you need to mark off one of your spell slots. Unless somehow hex isn't a spell slot spell for you, but it probably is. There is in spell. Is that again, sorry? There is a spell. Yep, so mark off one of your spell slots for casting that. Is it on the spells page? Yeah. So it says I have two slots remaining, but I don't think I'd updated it. Yeah, so you just minus one from that. Minus one, okay. Yep. So if it's like, it'll say slots total and slots remaining. So what's your slots total? Two. Right. And then your slots remaining should be, it would have been two, right? So it should be one. Yeah, that's what I thought. Cool. So I'll just make it one. And then I'll cast a cantrip. Yep, because the cantrip needs to be an action as it's casting time. But because on your turn, you can only use one spell slot on your turn to okay. make it set. Right. Yeah. Learning curve. It's fine, um, but your, your yeah. cantrip could have been a bonus action, and your spell slot spell could have been an action to flip what you're doing. So it works okay. anyway. Yeah. Can I use a cantrip like the next turn? Like, if I can I use the same one the next turn? Mm -hmm. uh, can cantrips don't run out. Cantrips okay. are just magic that is like you is so used like you're used to casting it. Yeah. Okay. Um. So how do I do that? Yep. So. He needs to make a save. Mm -hmm. Wisdom save. I assume it's on the same goblin. Yep. Uh, and saves are... Where will I find this? Uh, see if I just hit... It's just wisdom, they don't have saves. Unless... Okay, so if I just hit wisdom, it'll, it'll do the... Yeah. Da -da -da. <laughs> so he fails a save. I fail my... <laughs> <laughs> right, so is taking? that damage yet? No. Cool. Then it'll take the D8. So do you want to roll a D8? Gorm. I will. 1D8. Rolling dice. Nice. Six, nice. Then do you want to click hex? I will. I'm taking the one he's already rolled. Nope. No. Because it's it's done every time the attack's done. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Oh, give me give me the juicy visuals of this. So getting hit by the arrow, I wince very clearly and I feel awful. I've not been hit so hard in my entire life, and at first I struggle to get my bearings, but then I feel a big well of power building in me, and I just angrily point at said goblin and I mutter some words about Gaia and this this power just emanates from me and hits the nearest gob goblin the nearest enemy I perceive now, out of character I'm not going to just throw crazy hissy fits at how crazy necrotic you are my buddy but <laughs> <laughs> face stealing murder hobo that you are <laughs> Oh dear. Um, is that everything, yeah? Yep. Cool. Guard. Also another thing, you can't have more than one concentration up at a time, so if you do cast a second concentration spell, the first one will drop. That's another thing that you need to be aware of. It, it hasn't come oh, up. So don't... Okay. So this guy is going to move. Uh, come on down to here. Uh, he's going to move to here. To, to look like they're helping, you know. He's just going to get murdered. God. Yeah, he's going to do that. Are these like guards as well, or what? Uh -huh. Are they just people? They're guards. Yeah. Tilda. Oh, he's going to. I'm sorry, he meant to say he's prepping for this one. Sorry. Cool. Yeah, I forgot. Hey, 
in. Hmm. Well, fan in hand. As for visual aids, I'll just send that again. The definitely notice all the bullshit necromancy you're doing because cantrip magic is easy to identify. Oh yeah. Uh, Hmm. I will store that for later in the old <laughs> brain. The old noggin. Yeah. And um I think I will Let's see. So realistically all X probably get that one. This one's slightly far away, but that's probably going to be. You're in range of all of them. So I guess I'll go for that one, because he's all in his lonesome, really. And I will. Yeah, I'm going to try this. So everything should be set normally. I should be able to just click the button. Hopefully nothing's broken on my sheet. Bam. Nice. Right. Sapping sting. Does that hit? Uh, yeah. I am fairly confident that hits. By fairly cool. as in, it does hit. <laughs> Good. So, uh, can you make a con save for me? Do you know what? I can. Please don't. Yep, I can. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's fine. rigged. It's rigged. Um, and does it do any anything if it's is it is it just no? No. If it's a save, then nothing happens. Cool, cool. See, I'm alright with Callum's rolls because he rolled a zero the roll before, so like, we're good. It's not as bullshit just as just bouncing uh, and bouncing drains. out. Of <laughs> <laughs> a certain elemental. So yeah. like before him. Um, Visually, what you see is she's got like her fan in one hand, and then she kind of like has her other hand making kind of like shapes with her fingers, and then she pulls a couple of green runes all over her hands, and she like aims it at that thing, and then nothing happens. So she's like, hmm, her face kind of like screws up a little bit, and she just kind of raises her fan angrily. And I am probably just going to move in. I'm gonna go there and then there and then yeah fuck it I'm just gonna go right in there. All right. Oh dear. I'm I'm good. Cool. Fantastic. Yep. Emu Oxo. Did my is your time again? Um. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Um, what's the um, so I would just like to move um, to yeah I'll I'll move into here And I'd like to just give him a, a whack. A good old whack. Um, so I, I think I spoke to Ryan about this, I'm just trying to remember. Um, even though um, the with the quarter staff, I can use it in two handed. Yeah. Um, even though it's not without proficiency. That's um, right. You can use it single handed or two handed. Yep. If I then wanted to make an unarmed attack, would I be able to do that if I was using it in two hands? That's about 20 different forum arguments, so yeah. it's just up to Callum to decide. But considering the guy that designed the game said the quarterstaff is a monk weapon, I don't see why not. I but... would I would assume like it's just as easy to take your hand off as it is to put your hand on. Mm -hmm. No, so unarmed attacks don't actually need to be hands. 
Ooh, I like that. <laughs> the thing is, like, pole arms, uh, when you get a pole arm mastery, where you attack with the front end and then just yeah, pass to the back end? Yeah, it's a totally different thing, though. It's okay. a different yeah. rules. Yeah. I don't really want to get into why it's really you can fucking kick. complex. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's literally you can kick, is how I look at it, and that's how Jeremy Crawford looks at it. Mm. Okay. You're well, yeah, no longer then... so you should untap that, too, when you get a chance. Um, and yeah, I'll go for a two hundred quarter step attack. Does that hit? I'm yeah, that <laughs> that that probably hits. And no. I'd like to do an, an unarmed strike with my bonus action. You need to do damage for that. Going to do the damage for the quarter oh. staff first. Click on, click on, click quarter, on quarter staff. staff. Yeah. Yeah. You know it works. Oh, nice. oh. oh. You flatten this. Cause go on. I, oh man, I'm, I, I was not so going to type I'm, the minus eleven, but I am going to type the minus eleven just in case. The source is thinking at um, bringing it down. Uh, you know, in two two hands, bringing it down um, in in angles like across. Um, so it's going over, sort of Tilda's head, um, and then coming oh. down, just batting it right out of the way from being next to next to her. You don't have to be modest here. You can just say, inspired by Tilda's <laughs> bravery. You it's more that I know um, Tilda is, is as squishy as I am, so <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... I am very happy here. Okay. <laughs> um, I should try and keep, you know, keep that together. Okay. Well, I guess then I won't be doing an unarmed strike because I, I don't think I can hit anything. Uh, do you have any movement left? Uh, yes. Why don't you move and arm strike the other guy? That's a good point. You step on um, his corpse. Yeah, can I just stand on him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you feel like the, the squishiness of the goblin <laughs> like, getting like wrapping around your feet. Strange <laughs> noises. <laughs> I'm afraid that. <laughs> that doesn't hit. I like the idea though that it's like you run in, as I said, you get your big angled swing as you get, like you know, absolutely annihilate one, leap forward and punch enemy style. Yeah. And it just misses. <laughs> cool. Really Do you have any of your like flurry stuff yet out of interest? Yes, I could, but um I oh, know, I'm happy with your, like, um, reserved nature for now, yeah, 100%. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yep. fair. Um, so yeah, that'll cool. be... Uh, God, I was going to wait for the goblins to start their turn. I'm the goblins! I'm the goblins now! Can you just go the way I can? Right. Uh, although he doesn't need to actually, he's going to. What's the range? These oh yeah. So this this goblin's going to take a pot shot at you, Ovek. Obviously. Nope. Um, he was. I think he's kind of just pointing at you, threateningly, like a threatening little goblin man. Threatening point, sure. Yeah. Yep. And he's just going to go shaboom. Does that hit? <laughs> It hits. Um, at what point do I need to say I'm going to use Stone's Endurance? Uh, whenever it says you do. What does it say in Stone's Endurance? You can focus yourself to occasionally shrug off injury. When you take damage, you there can you see your reaction. To... Yeah, I'm going to use my roll, my reaction to uh, negate some of that. Yeah, that's fine. So roll a d reaction. You get like one reaction like per like turn, essentially. Yeah. So like if someone walked past you, you couldn't like think of an opportunity attack now because that's a reaction. So I'm just gonna give you the the flavor text here, and then I'm gonna roll. Yeah. So I shrug off all the arms completely. Cool. I think off. like as as like the, the 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 arrow sort of leaves the leaves the bow, um, you can see like the goblin's like grin widens as it like definitely connects, um, and you hear that satisfying thwop of of an arrow. Um, but then, 
as he like kind of like blinks and opens his eyes again like the the arrow's just like on the floor and you're just standing there maybe it's that like proper like anime where you're like s silhouetted and there's like yeah um how does that look how's your stones endurance look i am um... i'm just sort of like does your skin like, like tense wind? myself my 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 just sort of my whole body just looks like it goes sort of rock solid and then the arrow just bounces off me nice. um and I just sort of use, I'm effectively just using this as, as more of a thing that I'm trying to intimidate these guys to try and go at me, but nothing's going to break me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, so, uh, and yeah, he looks very disappointed with his um, with his uh, performance. Uh, <laughs> and he's just going to I think what he's going to do is he's, he's a bit miffed. He's going to jump over to here. You bastard. Um, this guy is going to whap out his scimitar. Get right in your grill. Uh, and he's going to poke you with it. So did he have a bow? He did, yes. Oh no, it's cool. part of his movement to swap, isn't it? No, he needs to, like, is he going to hold the bow in one hand and the sword in the other? Is he dropping the bow? Uh, he drops like, the bow, I think. Cool. So it's so what? Can't you just put it around him, like? No, because that would it wouldn't be able to draw his sword then. Yeah, because it'd be the same as like. You can draw uh, or show a weapon, not both. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of your move, so you can only do one of those. It's important for us. <laughs> yes. It's That's good, but... it's, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's action economy for a game. That's all. Yeah. Right? It's because then 10 soldiers on a wall need to do something to switch to a sword and not just gun us down with arrows. It's balance. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. He just drops his, drops his bow on the ground and bolts. And pokes you. Well, I say poke. He slashes you with a scimitar. But for goblins are kind of pokey. So does a 12 hit. I can bring it. No. Yeah. I think I think then as, as he kind of like brings the scimitar over to you, it just kind of like... Maybe just like off my shield. yeah, slides right off your shield. Um, it doesn't just, even leave a scratch. Yeah, sets the shield on the ground and just says it's the same height as the goblin that runs at it. <laughs> yeah. So is the armor class what dictates what hits? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or if it's other moves like saving throws, that's like people trying to dodge out the way of things or resist it. There's two different types of way to hit something. Uh, that'll be that guy. This guy is going to... He, he, he kind of wants to head over to Ovek, but he also can't deal with the fact that um, there's people in the way. Mm. So he's going Fair to... Uh, actually, do you know what? No, he's going to disengage. Because he's a goblin, you can do that. Uh, and... Uh, kind of... Uh, well, do, yep, head up to Ovek. Going this way and this way. He's going to do exactly the same and slash you with a scimitar. Okay. Uh, he was the bow guy, so he's dropping the bow as well. Does Ooh, that hit? Just hits. And we'll take right. five uh, slashing goblin scimitar damage. Cool. Does Do these ones have Fury of the Small? They uh -huh. have... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, nimble escape. They can take the disengage or hide action as a bonus action if they if they want to disengage. So. Uh, yeah. I like to think that I put my shield in front of the first one, and then the other one came up like to the side of me, got around the shield. Yeah. That's good. This guy's gonna move here. This guy's gonna move here. Yeah, um, Alexander, like, goblin stats for being their goblin race and the actual monster stats might be different. FYI. Uh, yep, uh, that's the goblins. Um, and Dig Doglio. Oh, for fuck's sake, he's one of them. Smithington. Yes, um. Right. Am I allowed to make that movement? Yep. Under tree. Yeah, so if we say like the tree is like starting in the center block, that, like oh, so like, like 
in theory you could go there to hit him, right? Without any penalty? Yeah, because uh, the tree is here. Okay, but I could still go there. Yes. But you, uh -huh. Yeah, could, but you wouldn't need to. Yeah, well, fair enough. The reason for that is because if you do murder this guy in one go, he then can use that other square to try and head towards other goblins. Good idea. Fucking excellent. Right, I'm going to do that then. I'd take a big old fucking swing with my big old great axe. Alrighty. Yeah. Give it to. Oh, jeez. Yep, that oh. hits. <laughs> it does not hit. So, you're good. You're good. Boom! Oh. <laughs> fucking hell. Angry <laughs> 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 running around. Ah. And the goblin body, like, fling backwards to, like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure just hits twice and half vertically. <laughs> Okay. Perfect. If you, if you allow me to describe this one, Mr. Blaine. Yeah, please go for it. <laughs> like, actually go for it. Um... Screaming like a fucking banshee, enough to get the attention of literally everyone here. I run over this battle axe over my head, like glowing red from my eyes. Similar to Dio from JoJo's. Anyway, I, uh,. Hit his head with that much force, it slices him clean through the middle. And there are now parts of Goblin here and here. <laughs> okay. He gets exploded from the two halves just flying around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'd like to use the rest of my uh, movement just to put myself a little bit closer oh, to the action. I forgot to, to thingy him, but that's fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dog Diglio <laughs> Smithington, crusher of goblins. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've only ever killed goblins, I just demolished them. Yeah, okay, cool. Fantastic. Man! Orbeck Stormbreaker. Okay, let's give this a fucking shot. I said Stormbreaker, I do apologize. Stormbreaker. So, um, this one. Okay. I am going to turn and face it after being very angrily slashed at. Um, and bam. Yep. That hits. Bam. Uh, yeah, he takes that and he's not happy about it at all. Uh, and then uh. I'm going to use my action surge. Oh god. Uh, and then I'm going to turn to this one. I'm gonna slap him. It's almost like backhanded with the warhammer again. Bam. Enliven, that does not hit. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Um, nice try. Yeah, cool. good, good, good effort. Good effort. And that's um, my turn. For sure, excellent. Uh, these guys are just gonna continue to hang. What is the damage? One d twelve. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, British Gorm. Um, so I'd like to point at this guy here. Oh heck, here we go. Yep. That's called uh, Hex. <laughs> oh Hex. Oh Hex. Oh Hex, oh, hex Stormbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to cast a spell. Has the Hex moved? Keep in mind, yeah, I was going to say you can move your Hex. Oh, does that take an action yeah, to the do target? It? drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on a subsequent turn, which is now, to move the hex to a new creature. Well, I'll do that to this fellow, because he hasn't been hit yet. No. It also doesn't matter if they've been hit, but yeah, like I, I think it's just for... I economy. feel it's just like for economy, like, it makes more sense. Well, technically, if you're going to use Told the Dead, you kind of want to use it on somebody that has been hit, because you do more damage, but... Not really, because he's doing extra damage anyway, right? Yeah, true. Yeah, and these things aren't that big. Hundred percent. If it's um a bigger target, yeah, but that will end up yeah. being ended. Right. Plus, yeah. this thing's in ninety feet range that you're doing, so your ability to like move it is going to be fine, right? Challenge on a pip, the one that's now cursed. Oh yep, I shall do that. It's, it's, I assume it's this guy. What is the um? Well, now this is going to go into that territory I mentioned before. Gorm. Yes. 
You seem to have cast Witch Bolt. That was the spell I wished to use. Okay. But I it missed. Okay, so Hex doesn't apply anymore. No. No, as in Hex is gone. Yeah. It's a concentration spell Witch Bolt. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Didn't read that. Yeah, this will happen if we start like juggling with them. Um, lots of concentration spells. Like I, I forget as well. To be honest. Unpip your concentration, buddy, and then get rid of your other spell slot. Or you need to pip it again because you can only concentrate the witch bolt. Well, it missed. Huh. Yeah, it does. Not yeah. Matter. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. My bad. Let's go. I don't have any more spell slots. <gasps> um. So that didn't that use up. It, how did that look, though, visually? Because, I mean, we're obviously very mechanical heavy right now, but... Yes. I imagine I pointed with my finger and I... Maybe a gust of wind with my finger slightly off and it went this direction <laughs> rather than directly on. Yeah, and just kind of disappears off into the... Big bolt of blue lightning just streaks past everyone's face. Yep. Um, um can I then cast the cantrip? No, because that would be your action. Unless you have uh, a thing that gives you a bonus action. Like nope. you'd... you've done a bonus action and you've used your action. Oh yeah, because you've moved oh. your hex, that's right. Yeah. It's, been... it's only movement you've got. That's left, fine. Buddy. You can move. I'd like to it's a good character to learn mechanics with the, of the game with, though, because it does teach you quite a lot about what you can do on a turn. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. So, um... Guard freak sight and opportunity attack. No. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> well, well, well. Of course, my head. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. And it ain't the invisible bitch. <laughs> Um, oh, please give me a spray. Say that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. So the guards, um, and so on. I guess I'll unpip him because it's yeah, his held action never happened. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is really funny because uh, it's really weird because it's hard to go right. Okay, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna happen, but like, uh, eh, things things changed anyway. So. He's going to walk up right into this goblin's grill. And he's, he's going to it. slap him with his spear. What the fuck you saying about my mum, bro? <laughs> oh. uh, he does. Some damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, damage isn't to be sniffed at. Nice. Uh, nice, bro. Look fancy, thank you. Thanks. I give him a thumbs up. <laughs> if these guys die, it doesn't matter because they're just guards, right? It's like a really weird group. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was like measuring things out. And I was like, what? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh well, actually, what's his range? Oh no, no! What have I done? I'm, I'm an idiot. Um. Yeah, I think he would do that. That's a that disadvantage. Why not? Bro. Ah. I say we also need to try and kill the guards, guys, just to make it easier on Callum. No, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, where is it? That's all my guards, I think. One, oh, apart from one, two, three, apart from that guy. That guy's just going to one, two, three. Is the guy gonna have a spear now? Fucking idiot. Yeah. Now he's trembling. Uh, Tilda. I put far too many people on this map. Um. Uh, Probably in my head, just thinking, aren't they actually protecting the goddamn green wagons? Um, but they weren't hired for their brains. No. Um, throw a spear. 
I feel like I look to Emu because obviously all this kind of happens in the same like six seconds when we both run into that goblin and he just goes nope's the fuck out of there and him kind of turn to Emu nod I, and then I'm gonna head towards like this lineup so I think I probably want to go like there I think Roses are red. oh my What? Yeah, like what? What? Does that Alexa can read me a Valentine's poem or something? Uh, no, it's right. a fucking meme format at the minute. It's someone's put devil in it. Hang on, it's. Roses are red. I like bread. Oh, I'm singing. Today. It's okay. like. Okay. It, it, it's just shit posting. Just it's it's the shit that people send me. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna cast my. Uh... My fan, as it were, and throw it at I guess the one in the middle. Um Yeah. Like yeah, that one, that'll do. Um Let's see, is everything set where it should be bam. We do less random lines. I was nope. gonna say um Nope. The fan just goes right over its head. I'm used to fighting taller people. Yeah. And kinda looks up and he kinda grins at you and um I just fan myself. With the, the other one in my hand. Yep. And a. a how. Where am I? Two seconds to go back to that tool, and then that tool. I've moved 10. So. A, yeah, I think I'll just step in front of him. And, like, essentially block them from him. Yep. With my fan in my hand. Cool. And that is uh, me. And that means the one and only Emu Uxu. The Goblin Slayer! Goblin Slayer! Um, yes, I... That's pretty much me. I'm gonna move up Everybody's just trusting me to handle these two. <laughs> I'm yeah, pretty much. No, 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 no. And Dixie's gonna be up there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm... No, I'm... So here's, here's the thing, right? Sorry about this, Emu. But, like... He can only move 30, right? Hmm. Or he loses his rage. So he needs to hit one of these. Yeah. Or yeah. No, I, I, I wasn't saying it's a bad thing. I'm just, I'm liking it. <laughs> it's just... You're just holding him in a headlock for now. Whoa. Damn, mocks um, are fast. I'll... <laughs> yeah. I'll just give him another whack with the quarterstaff. <laughs> yeah, it's just not gonna do it, I'm afraid. Um... You're embarrassing me in front of the. <laughs> 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 can't be friends anymore. <laughs> no! He just pulverized uh... one of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> You've still got your alarm attack as well, if you Yeah, want. I think. Yeah, I'll just do a. Uh... Regular unarmed attack. Let's see if this one is any better luck. No. It does help. Two better luck. The thing about the unarmed attack is you might as well use it every turn because you've got nothing really else to use the bonus action for. So. He was waiting to see what else he actually wanted because he does have other stuff he can do. Right, okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate. He was gauging the severity of the situation, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, so that will be me. Cool. Right, well, uh, I'm just going to work from left to right so it's easier for my head. This guy is obviously Wait. going to <laughs> Scimitar Ovec. Okay. I'm sorry, but he is. You can give it a shot. Well, no, no, he's not. Never mind. You fucking miss. So is that that guy? Cause... Yes. Cool. Okay. Sorry, this guy. I'm just working from left of my screen to the right of my screen. Okay. Um, you might have invisible people. I'm slightly worried by this next person in the lineup. <laughs> no, I wouldn't pay any mind to the turn order. Just ignore <laughs> that. <laughs> I'm right, the of Christmas lost. Next question. <laughs> next question. Uh, this guy is also going to poke through the center. They're going to stay put. Um, or I guess like he he kind of like, um, as he kind of hits your like maybe your shield, it kind of knocks the sword out of his hand. 
And it, like he's kind of fumbling for it now. Nice. Uh, this guy's going to boof. Get advantage in this attack at him. Oh, that hits. This little bastard, man. So that's the guy next to him, yeah. Savage. Yeah. Your mm -hmm. uh, How are you looking? Do you do we do you sound in pain? <laughs> Wait, why did you roll twice there? I didn't mean to roll twice. That must have been. The, so I don't know what happened there. I was actually pipping this guy, and then it rolled again. Um, looking a bit hurt. Yeah. Oh, he is looking a bit hurt. So yeah, uh, he kind of like as you maybe like as you like bring the shield down again at to like kind of block this thingy he this takes the opportunity and just like slashes you in the side again hmm. just above where it got you last time okay. um this gentle person i don't know why i keep calling them gentle people they're goblins is going to uh skies matar you um emu i apologize well that is a hit <laughs> There's just yeah. extremes here, isn't there? There's nothing just, in between. I'll just go find a new in-game <laughs> girlfriend. In <laughs> <time>. <laughs> um, Maybe Sue wants to come on an individual. Yeah. <laughs> How are you looking, Emu? Yeah. Does that sound painful? Uh, that, that hurt. That was 10 damage, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, bud. I was like, like I was this close to doing like um doing a thing to make me harder to hit, but I just thought, you know, they they only do like six damage or maybe <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. Do you have <laughs> Jesus Christ? Oh jeez, oh <laughs> he's casting spells, stop the orc! <laughs> stop him <laughs> <laughs> Sneezes and fireball just hits him. <laughs> it's the kite. Um yeah, so uh, this this guy is going to. What guy? Uh, keep saying this guy. I, 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 oh, I, sorry, I keep thinking this of pain, but person. I haven't. Not gentle person. Yeah, okay. They're not so um, fucking gentle, are they? Well, as soon as you start arrows. calling them gentle, you crit. <laughs> yeah, pings don't always come through. Ah, okay. Yeah. I'll use the I'll use the the thingy for my arrows own. are better. Yeah. Okay. Um. Tilda, you are scary. I'm a with your with your with your bands. So he's going to be like patow, patang. Who is the middle guy? It's going to be patang with his shebang. Going to be patang with his shebang. Yes. I see. Does a patang hit your shebang? No. Ah, excellent. It does not. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, we get the second image I had prepared for this moment. Fantastic. Where she blocks <laughs> with her shield, comes up her big I orange just circle. Her mouth. <laughs> just bats whatever the hell it was out of the way. Um, oh, that's that's crazy. What? <laughs> that's crazy good. Plus five AC. Yeah. Nice. Sorcerers, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Because you have such low AC anyway. So. I have no AC, basically. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah cool. that's fair. Um, you see, like the goblins just sort of like enraged, going. Um, I wink. Me. Yeah. I'm um, in agreement. It is, it is bullshit. But, like, yeah, I understand. Uh, this guy's just going to fucking hoof it. Uh, I guess actually dash, because I've read some stuff. This is a dash. It's just moving your double doobly, using your action to run your movement again. Yeah, well, just, just, okay, just, okay, there we go. That's just, like, red just dash. running away. Red dash. He is running away. Actually, no, I think he probably gets to here. Uh, Are we getting any context for that, or...? <laughs> I see a javelin opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking like. Um, do, you? do you? There's there's a lot of. Tr I don't this think you can. Happening. I, I mean, more the range. How, what's the range on them? 120. 120 disadvantage. Yeah. I said disadvantage, yeah, but. Um, yeah. It's still doable. 
<laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to. <laughs> um. Uh, this guy steps out. This and guy. This guy, guy over here. He looks familiar. Does he? I saw him in the turn order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what have I done? Ah, oh, I did not mean to do oh, that. He's using up his movement. Good guys. Yep. <laughs> um, what is it? What's um, share token? It's just dancing around. Hey, what, like shift Z. Shift Z. To zoom. Yeah, for every day. Why is that not doing it? My shift click on. Oh, there we there go. There we go. Hey. He's pretty so it's like comic book Wolverine as a goblin. It yeah. looks like the bad guy out of Kung Fu Panda. I don't remember who the bad guy in Kung Fu Panda was. Um, no, it doesn't. No, it's a tiger. tiger. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know that, but with, the, with the, just the face layout and the eyes and that. Was <laughs> okay. The Eden McShane tiger. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, the awesome voiced tiger, yeah. He's great in American Gods, if anybody's not watched it. It's very good. Oop, my screen's gone funny again. He uh, pissed, uh, and that's his, that's his thing down there. Dig Dogley or Smithington? Yes, righty. Eh? Um... Yes. Oh, like 15 feet to there. Wonderful. You get an advantage on the, the attack as well, buddy. How come? He's on the ground. Oh yeah, he's um he's fumbling for his his sword. He's prone. He is prone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move there and just roll advantage, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. No, it doesn't hit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the poor like goblin. The <laughs> oh my god! Bad. Holy fuck! That was a um, pretty bad attack roll as well. Damage, like the fuck. Um, no! Do you want to? Do you want to? Um, do you want to showcase this? Um, <laughs> Give me a good visual on this. Um. After killing the previous goblin to this one, I, I, I didn't stop screaming like a banshee. So I pretty much just changed my trajectory, sprinted full speed towards this one, and because he was on the floor, I, I took a swing at his head, very similar to how you swing a golf club, actually. Alright, here you go. Anyway, I hit his head, and it goes fucking flying off into the fucking atmosphere. Two seconds later, you just hear very quietly in the distance, Whoa! <laughs> It does the the team rocket then like star off into the the distance like ding, blast yeah. off again, blast off again. <laughs> pretty, pretty much just fucking hit his head like a golf ball. You just hear Shumo spell. <laughs> Brilliant! Oh my goodness! And, uh, is... and also while covering his other goblin friend in goblin blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, and um, he's he's absolutely like breaking it now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still screaming. <laughs> cool. Uh, is there anything else from Dig Dog Leo, or is I mean, um, I can probably move actually. If you click on your token without moving it, press X. It will tell you how much you've moved since the last time you picked it up. No way. Yep, all fifteen feet. I didn't oh. know that. That's kind of cool. You're welcome. I'll keep these tips up. Um, where could I move to be helpful? Uh, you want to get as close to things that are going to still be around so that you don't lose like your rage early. So depends if you want to try and murder that before he can. Uh, I would say you might well, want to start well, attacking towards these guys. Well, I can't attack again in another turn, in this turn, can I? No, but you can use the rest of your move efficiently. So you've moved, what, 15? So you may as well yeah. do that. And that makes you 15 closer. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, it also doesn't keep you too far away from that guy there. Yeah, so if you if they don't move uh, any closer, you know you can't get to them from melee, so you could then just go back to this guy if he still exists. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, and I'm still screaming like a banshee. Yes. <laughs> Man, that was good. Good turn. Well done. Oh, Vic. Uh, also, can yeah. I just say, sorry, um, that like, see when I'm zoomed out, uh, your little shield thing looks like a cup of tea. Nice. It probably is quite fitting. <laughs> 
Don't want a cup of tea, actually. Is there a straight cup of tea for him? I, 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 would, I was a, what do you call it? I was, if I was a more confident uh, fighter, perhaps a level five fighter in this scenario, maybe I would be a bit more cocky about drinking tea during this, but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is get pissed off of this dude fucking slashing at me. So I'm going to sort of scream. I'm going to use my second wind as bonus action. The gain 1d10 plus your fire level as health. Oof, nice. Nice. Uh, so we roll that. Nice. Is it more screaming? Uh, more like a growl. Like, you fucking piss me off and I'm about to fucking destroy you. Kind of. Health you get back? Oh, sorry, That's 11. 11 health, yes. That's nice. Honestly, man, fighters are so OP. They're kind of supposed oh to. Oh my go. god, I just watched your bar go from like nothing to <laughs> full almost. I was Plus like, full, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and then I'm gonna slap him again with my uh, Warhammer. Oh god. Oh! That misses. Fuck! God damn it. <laughs> this guy's really getting on you. He's just He's really. He's one of the movie fuckers. He is. Dicks, man. At least you did something on your turn, though, like, really significant, yeah. right? Because that's yeah. the thing. Sometimes turn act economies, like, oh. <laughs> I mean, keep in mind, I have done very little of use this fight, except harass yeah. goblins. So you're all doing great. Keep up the good work. Keep it up, gentles. Just let Dig, Dodg Dig Dogly and Eva do all the killing. We'll just... That was that was always my plan was to like like you three murder everybody. But I'm the tank here as well. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Murder who's tank. done the tanking here? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I know, but who's supposed to be doing the tanking? <laughs> that's um, uh, that, that that's 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 for you to argue about if you survive. Um, Brigish Gorham. Can trip. <laughs> <laughs> you can indeed trip. Yes. Not Mark do. yourself as prone. Yeah. <laughs> can <Catnip. Catnip. laughs> Oh wait, catnip oh. Everdeen. Yeah. I know her. <laughs> this this fellow here, this gentle person. There we go, thank you. Uh, really? Really? Not not the others? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you're probably right, actually. <laughs> it's more just to do with the fact that this one dude here has one, two, three, four people. Five, technically. Six, if you include you. Seven, because I'm still in range, right? And this guy, that's totally not going to be an issue at all. Uh, come to your side. Come to your aid. Rohan shall answer. And... Uh, that's my Rohan. That's, that, was, that was a very good Rohan answering noise. I like it. Well done. Okay, I was actually impressed with it myself. Thank you. And yes. On you should this be. gentle person here. Or should I say, this <laughs> gentle person. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually hostile to various forms, so that's a disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Casts more necromancy. Oh, God. Best we don't talk about necromancy. Uh... So they need to make a wisdom save. So you're fine. You just wait for them to do the save. And it's yep. probably going to work out okay. I assume that doesn't save. If you wait 15 minutes, then there'll be a, a toll of <laughs> the bells here. <laughs> <laughs> we need to time the combat better than just for every hour. Quick, yeah. everything cast till the dead. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, do you want to roll your your damage on that uh, Mangi, and then give me a description? Is he injured or not? He's uninjured. Sorry, I, I meant to. Okay, do. so D eight. I'll fix that spell for you after the game if you remind me. By the way. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice. That is nice. Go on, spill the beans. I get my can opener, and fumble and you hear a big clang <laughs> and the beans are everywhere <laughs> okay <laughs> and now tell me how you completely melt this goblin with um, what necrotic damage 
I continue to mumble in a fashion that doesn't quite make much sense to anyone. That actually makes loads of sense to me, but that's for reasons I don't want to talk to you about yet. <laughs> okay, damn it. Um, uh, and once again, I angrily point at said gentle person and justly turn him into undead mush. Ideally, um, just mush. Mush, yeah. mush. <laughs> uh, undead mush, did you say? Did you say, well, let me just get um, undead. There we go. <laughs> undead goblins, damn it. <laughs> Instead of their, nah, they go, eh. <laughs> um, sorry. Uh, anything else, Brigish? <laughs> Jokingly turn into <laughs> Tilda. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm vetoing that now. No. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe an action as well. Uh, uh, I would say so. Yeah. Um. Can I take out my crossbow? Does having a crossbow out like? Limit my ability to cast cantrips. You need to load the crossbow. Can I take out and load my crossbow? I don't know what the mechanics of crossbows are. Is it the same as like a shield? Crossbow. Yeah. Isn't it? No. No. What? No. You can, if you're proficient with your crossbow, you can use your crossbow. So you can take it out. So long as you've got a free hand, you're assumed that the action of firing it includes putting the ammo in. Okay. But if you had a crossbow in one hand and then a like sword in the other, you couldn't reload the crossbow. Yeah. Right. So yeah. But it's also like a two hand. You also can fire it because it's in, unless it's a you know hand crossbow can be obviously held in one hand. But again, if you get your other hand's full, he can't reload it. You need like an empty hand. It's not like dual wielding video games where magically your bullets go in. But you could, as part of your move, pull that out as long as nothing else is in your hands. Yeah. Could I... Try and... No, no, I won't do anything. I feel like doing what I was thinking of doing would be meta. So, no. I will end my turn. Okay, okay. Uh, these guys are going to they're going to start celebrating a little bit maybe possibly prematurely um, oh, I I you're still a goblin stabbing at a Ovik yeah it's definitely prematurely um, but no like they're, they're like after seeing the Gloglio's like crushing of goblins and then a goblin just dying in the distance you're like yeah oh man this is good this is real good uh, and he's going to spear the Ovik's goblin we hope. <laughs> I wish it was my goblin. It'd be fucking dead by now. Though, wasn't no, it? He's not supposed to be rolling at disadvantage. But he still misses. <laughs> uh, and he sighs. His eyes roll. Sigh for him. Stab. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> so he's going to come here. He's going to do the same. Except he'll do it two-handed this time. He hits. Oh, I still have this at fucking disadvantage. Doesn't matter. But yeah, he hits. Ooh. Fuck me. <laughs> he did more damage than I did. <laughs> uh, so this oh, goblin yeah. so he like kind of just like drives a spear into this goblin, um and like he struggles to get the goblin off it as it just goes completely limp. And kind of falls to the floor. Uh, I think he looks up at you, Ovek, with kind of like I did good, right? <laughs> Eyes. It's um, gonna kick the goblin so it falls off his spear. Yep. Yeah, um. And he just like kind of looks at you. And, and I nod. Star Wars nods. Okay. Um. I'm 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 going to glare at him. You stole my goblin. <laughs> Slightly, they're just screaming at everything around you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still screaming. I'm not. This screaming guy. This is our um, rogue, everybody. This is our rogue. Seeing my necromancy is just. He's broken his mind. <laughs> uh, he's going to run back here because he realized he's thrown away his only weapon. It's maybe the, the breaking of the other minds, you know, when he scooped out the goblins from the goblins. <laughs> that great axe. <laughs> <laughs> Where 
is my mind? It's over there. It's over there. Bits up the tree. Uh, it's, in your, it's in his hair. <laughs> this is fucking everywhere. <laughs> we all end up like you know brushing off the battle damage, and he comes back dripping in goblin blood. <laughs> How's your good fight, guys? Eh? Hey, hey, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Good job, everyone. <laughs> God. Um, well. Cool. Tilda. Okay. Do well. some mean things. So, do we see this dude up here? Yeah, you can see him. He also Does he look threatening? He looks quite threatening. He just stabbed a goblin, though. Um, Wait, yeah, what, like what happened in that exchange? Like, So, in that exchange, the goblin, um, who was up here, um, mm -hmm. so I had my arrow thing. That's okay, uh, I remember. Yeah, he ran away, and then he dashed off here, and then he stepped out and went nut and stabbed him. Alright. Oh. Hmm. Time. I am I'm very torn. Oh, I part one took out. Yeah. I am very torn because you know, waifu is in danger. Yes. But but possibly in more danger. And I feel like if I step in, that steps on waifu's toes. So, um, I think I will attack the newcomer with some some magic. Oakley, Oakley. I think that's what I'll do. Um, and yeah, and I'll use my inspiration to get advantage on this. That um, is fine. Mark your like we get gifts for every attack. Uh, to be fair, that's how I imagine she fights. It's just that her rules will argue that, because yeah. apparently I roll I roll really badly. <laughs> um, You're like me. I know, right? Look, absolutely. It's just this is karma for all of those it's games. Karma for your DM roll, Gina. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. <It> balances out. <laughs> yeah, like I wouldn't do it as a player if I could break it, right? Um, Where's my sheet? Right, okay, so I'll mark off the spell slot because I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. Right. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. It's going to be at advantage. And it's going to be at that big dude. And the range is 120, so I don't need to care about yeah, it. Yeah, don't worry about that. So hope for the best. Boom. Boom. Is it 21 hit? Please 21 this is what you use does hit, then. yes. That doesn't hit, we're fucking running. Yeah, that was, that was possibly my, my next thought. Yeah, uh, and that does hit, yep. Oh, Does 19 oh. damage do anything? Oh, 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 oh my That's god! Fucking nice! Uh, let's see. Yeah, also, we don't actually know that he's hot style. <laughs> also, can I just say, um. Oh no, I did ask him, like, does he look threatening? That was it. That was that you stabbed a goblin and whatnot. So yep, he looks. Like, looks he did look, like, really intimidating and really threatening. It's that kick at the end of that new gif. Um, <laughs> and he, like. As like as like the what could you could you describe like what the bolts, um, like and then I'll tell you how he um... OP that fucking spell. So, um, she's got her fan in one hand. Obviously, her shield mandala was in front of her until it like dissipated, and uh, the goblin obviously died because of the necromancer beside me. And mm -hmm. um, I dismiss all that. Fill up, actual radiant powers from the very gods themselves because necromancy should never be relied upon uh, um, and a big kind of bolt of just white light flies from her to that thing um, if it's still alive it grants advantage to the next attack by the way oh nice so next person to attack it gets advantage if cool. it's still alive yeah, um, he is. Uh, so as that happens, like he like stands there and kind of watches all this happen. Just you know, you know, probably puffs up its chest and go, "I'm going to take this on the chin. <laughs> you can't hurt me." And then as as it kind of hits, he it drops. I'll power walk towards him. All that right? I'll power walk towards him, pull out that magic, and do the thing. And I'll, yeah, I will. Because I will move. Um, that's fine. And uh, yeah, he like noticeably, noticeably looks a lot less happy and healthy and intimidating. Yeah, and I'm gonna like walk there um, while doing that and say, You can always still give up. We are merciful. Fan in hand. 
<laughs> uh, it just uh, looks at you and goes. Does it look pretty fucked up? It looks pretty fucked up. As, he... As a bonus action, I'm going to use my sorcery points to recraft the spell slot I just used. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Sorcerers, man. That's where it's at. Dude, somebody was saying fighters are OP, what? <laughs> hey, I mean, that is the first thing I have done of use besides shielding myself. True. So, yeah, um, I'm um, pretty sure that. Too. Let me just pop that in. So that's what I'm doing just now. Flexible casting, one slot, two points. Yeah, cool. So I'll burn them to get that back. Cool. Oh, it's how I respected you. <laughs> um, well, you might be respecting some paste on the floor at a minute. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I uh, that that he got me is really like um, is definitely the most animated you've probably ever seen Emu, um, and she's really hacked up now. So I'm just gonna and hacked up. Yeah. And <laughs> um, so, I mean, pretty much just, you know. It's worked once, so maybe it'll work again. Go for the old. Oh, it did. Okay. Exactly. It did I work. That worked. I was annoyed. Do it. Oh, Do it. Also, Cal, remember Pip's that guy, so he people like, I don't know, a yellow circle or something to say Grant's advantage. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, my Ooh. God. 17. Wow. Buff. Nice. Splat. Go on. Share yeah, with the so world see, your great achievement. Um, the the fact that he that the golem got her and got her good really um, really got the bloodlust within her is now on peak. She hasn't actually been this angry in a long time. She was a nice happy out in the um, in the the countryside. She'd been cooped up in the the town, and then this guy just ruined her day and she just completely took it all out on him, and just like um, was you know basically pinned like. Uh, I don't know one of his limbs would go for a leg and just broke joints um, with her quarterstaff, really like wrenching him around as bits of him started to, to pop off and smoked him down on the ground. That's fucking yeah. disgusting. Man. That's that that was yeah yeah you've thought long and hard about this one. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> I, I mean, I was more thinking of what was going to happen when it was like a natural one, but <laughs> I was quite surprised. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will, cool. I will take we'll this. Uh, goblins. Uh, um, just... Oh, whoa, sorry. Not, not sorry. Yet, I'm sorry, forgive um, me. <laughs> you know what I can do now. <laughs> um, All the goblins uh, rise up undead. <laughs> um, I. Will probably um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, that that kind of threw me. I did not expect that to go nearly so. Well. <laughs> um, you're always so negative. <laughs> like you're the only person in the world who could take that as a bad thing. <laughs> um, I guess um, I will spend one of my key. Uh, I will take a few steps forward. Um... No, I don't, I don't want to suggest things, but if I was to suggest things and you moved there, your own iron strike would get advantage on that guy. Not that I'm saying you should do that. <laughs> well, I will... <laughs> I will nurse you back to health. I I think yeah, Emu is living the high and just <laughs> runs up and yes. um fl uh, flurry of blows. Oh god. Um, oh, so I spend a key point. Oh, da, 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 da. Um, and so do I get two blows with um, advantage or it's just I believe it's just, just the first one. Blow. Um, okay. I'll, I'll go quickly read it just now, but I think it's just the first one. <laughs> uh, give me two Monks, seconds. Man. Monks are crazy. More attacks than fighters. It's just, 
Okay, then bull, and then the spell description is the next attack roll, so it will be the first attack roll against it, essentially. Uh, it's just one. So it does, one it, 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 it does glow ever so slightly, though, so it's kind of pretty. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's just the next one, yeah. Oof. Oh, Jesus Christ. Youch. Oh, I mean, yeah, that definitely hits, but... Such like an unarmed strike. It's only the hit, remember. It's not the uh, yeah, I know. It's still... the damage. Oh, I think he's. I Come think on. He's, I think he's bought it. <laughs> um, I, I'm clicking it, and it's not doing anything. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, there it is. It's oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, here we go. Here comes twenty of them. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um. So, and I'll will I do my my second attack as well. Uh, you can uh, for flavor if you like. Toll of the I use Toll of the Bells! <laughs> <laughs> um, so, see Flurry, do you need to spend, can you paste it in the chat? Because you might not need to actually spend it. Um, take an attack action, you can spend like it. Yeah, no, sorry, you would have had to. Yeah, that's fine. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I think I, I want to. <laughs> yeah, it's a dead body. It's just he's dead anyway, but yeah, it's cool. I like the angry <laughs> idea. He's dead, you hit him. <laughs> so I love the fact that I'm like, you know, we're, we can be merciful. This monk flies past me, just annihilates <laughs> Um So yeah, he, he, I'm saying he falls down, and as he's falling, I'm still just laying into him, like, um, what's... Uh, I, I can't think of anything super popular, but as he's on the ground, I'm just, l like, kneeling on top of him, just... Stop it! Keeping stop it! Punching into his dead. face. Yeah, Are just we in narrative fists. space that I could go try and, like, pull her back a bit? Um, or are we do you know what? Uh, you can you can have narrative space. Cool, I think I'll just walk up to a... I think I will carefully. keep punching until, until he... Yeah, um, until he gets to me. Yeah, I don't think I, I, I come near you too much now until I want to, like, make sure I'm technically out of melee range, you know? And be like, Emu, darling, it's over. Just like take a, a moment to to um, still myself and gain composure, and then just take one last final right hook across the bloodied remains <laughs> ruin that is his face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <just> like, <sighs> stand back up and just um, yeah, I probably won't say anything. Just are you all looking. right? I, I am not looking well. <laughs> I am just covered in blood, limping. <laughs> and I don't know I'll where the I... goblin blood begins and Emu's... Yeah. <laughs> the other way around. Are, are they different colours at all? Because <laughs> um, they probably have equal amount of both. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's it's hard it's hard to tell, like, from the, like, the, the mishmash of red and yellow that you are. Um... <laughs> I've decided goblins have yellow blood. There we go. It is fact. Uh, yeah, I'll just help uh, Emu back to the, the caravan. Ah, uh, well, if we're in narrative space, then I'm, I'm just going to make it so my my horrible screaming just stops in a fucking instant. I'll just turn to Gorman and say, get some of that beer you bought. <laughs> Who are you saying that to, sorry? Uh, wait, Gorm's, uh, Mangy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, give some of that beer you bought. Oh. I need some for myself first. Oh, well, so, well, fucking share. <laughs> I think what? I go up to Ovik while all that's happening as well and just say, you might want to look through the possessions of the foes. For your scrapbook collection, I just say, uh, we want to go and check on our um, our cargo. Yeah. So anyway, I can't move Emu's to uh, Emu's token, but I'll put Emu on the cart, I guess, to rest. I'll, I'll start the beer. Oh. Forkers. <laughs> yeah. As they do that, I'm gonna have a look around all the bodies, pick up anything that's got a decent amount of metal to it. 
I point yeah. you in the direction of like the leader first, if that makes sense. Like the big. Um, okay. Can I, I say big? Person? They're all the same size, but yeah. <laughs> you say he looked like he was, you know, better equipped. I guess. Yeah. I'll head over to him first, but then I'll pick up all the way on the way back. Yeah. Um. As as you like the the, the rummage through the thing, you you obviously he's got um. On on his person, like weapon wise, he has a, a scimitar and a javelin. Um, why didn't I want to take that? Oops, up to you. Um, I'll take a scimitar, not a javelin. Yep, uh, and the armor. Uh, his armor is well, it's kind of like a chain sort of shirt thing. Um, and he's got like a wee a shield that pales in comparison to the greatness of yours. Um, made of. Made of wood. Okay, I'll leave that. Um. He's and, on a scrap uh, metal mission. That's what he's really I know, doing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, like if you if you do you want to like thoroughly rummage through him, or are you just trying to get like all the metal-y looking things off? Uh, just metal bits. If there's anything that I notice while taking off like his chain shirt or anything. Um. Maybe yeah. As you can take the chain shirt off off them, uh, you you maybe see like there's he's got like he's got like a little um little pouch on him. It's like you know, like like a little like maybe maybe something that you'd see like uh someone who's carrying documents like on their person like under, like a like a fanny to pack pouch type okay. thing, but like big it. enough to hold <coughs> documents and thingy. It's quite weighty as well. As you pick it up, I'll grab it, but I won't open it just now. Yep, that's fine. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's all he's really got on him. And I'll just sort of loot for metal all the other corpses as they go back to the cart. Yeah, so they they all have um scimitars on them uh I, I feel like um that's probably that about right. it like the um they don't have like any so uh, fancy. they're all wearing sort of like leathery stuff and like they're you know their belt buckles buckles made of metal but it might not be worth yeah, taking the, enough just to, them. To, yeah no so i'm really, running really, no, really just, just their scimitar stuff, no yeah. all right yeah. cool just grab all the scimitars and then i'll chuck them in the cart i'm ignoring this okay. guy at the bottom yeah. Uh, which one? That guy. This one. Yeah, that's fine. And just a guy. It's too far away. I don't care. Yep. So one, two, three, four, five. That's six. eight. So seven. Uh, seven, seven, eight. Uh, scimitars. Yeah. Including this dude. Including that dude. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. And then I'm gonna hop into the car. So I'm taking a short rest. I don't want to say all these carts have been backwards the whole time because that would be embarrassing. But like, I want to go check all the. Um, the I'll be backwards. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to go and see my dog. <laughs> I have I no idea. That. What do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. You don't just want to make sure these people are okay. So I go check um, the people. Yeah, uh, bar like you hear like a bark in the distance. Dig dog wheel um, barkers is fine. Like one of the. Um, one of the 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 sort of merchant uh, the traveling ropes. people was there. Uh, Tilda, as you kind of like go up to them, like um, I think maybe you like just lift up the the wee tarp thing that goes over the top, um, and uh, they just go. Is 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 it over? Yes, we were slightly delayed, but we can continue our journey. Gerard, where's Gerard? I need my Gerard. Um, I think maybe Gerard hears that. Um, this guy, uh, and he starts to slump his way back to. Uh, we'll see. Sure. We'll see if that one. Good. I don't know who Gerard is. That's fair. Gerard. I no, I probably do. What's that uh, effect on him? Oh, he was um. He was dodging. Oh, okay. Cool. He was dugging. So none of these dudes got hurt at all. Oh. No, surprisingly. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm 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 gonna give Borkers a goblin arm to chew on. Borkers um, does not take the goblin arm. Yeah. What's that? Borkers does not take the goblin arm. Oh. Um, but yeah, uh, like the everyone seems to be fine. Like I think a couple of the a couple of what, like what, two of the merchants or whatever, um, are a bit like shaky and like being like, oh my goodness, who said this was be. I thought I thought I was going to die. You know I can't. Oh dear lord, this is not good. Not get good for business oh, at all. Out, 
that's why we were here. You were lucky that we um, were in town when we were. And I just smile and like lift like her hand on the bag of candies up to like her mouth as if please just fill your face full of candy and stop talking. And he just like gra like grabs them all and just starts like you know um, comfort eating. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, but uh, British Gorham, what's you? I would like to climb the tree and just scope the surroundings and sniff the air. Are you going to get stuck up the tree like a normal cat? We're gonna to have to phone the fucking fire brigade to get you down. <laughs> and then, like you know, once you once they get there and put the ladder up, the cat will just jump down again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, this isn't my cat. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, you have a climb speed, do you? I believe you do. Do I? Where's that? Is it a tabaxi thing? Is it? I could be wrong. I'm not seeing anything. Where would I see it? Uh, cat's claws in your in your red text. Oh uh, yeah. Thingy. You have a climbing speed of twenty feet. Cool. Yeah. So that's fine. You um, you climb up the tree, uh, and like, are you are you just trying to get like a, a waft of like um, what what are you sniffing out for? Are you just anything unusual? Anything not human? Not you know, like rotting goblin like. Horse. Yeah, rotting goblin like. You see horses. You see Ovik. You see emu. You yeah. see Tilda. You see Brigish. You see the dog. Like we're all not human. Goblin like, and goblin like not there. Um, there's there's a lot of you. There, I think the the smell of dead goblin is really filling up the air. Um, I probably smell quite a lot of dead goblin. <laughs> yes. Um, there seems to be the mo the majority of the dead goblin smell is coming from the carts. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah. no, yeah. Do I see uh, anything from the tree? Yeah, no, you you kind of just see that, like, basically what you see on the map, um, a lot of dead goblins and, like, the paths uh, onwards, um, the road to nowhere and off to, like, further down the road. And it looks, it looks, um, like, further along uh, towards Pampai is, um, it looks, like, reasonably, like, uncrowded. By reasonably uncrowded, it doesn't look like there's anyone there from your vantage point. Monsieur um, Stonebreaker, would you mind taking one of the bodies? What for? I have a gnome that needs correcting in his assumptions of the dangers of this certain area. You are the leader? We... <laughs> kind of, I'm fairly dismissive, just like, sure, but... Not that bothered. Still quite like um, breathing very hard and just not really paying attention to anything. I'll uh, grab the leader. Okay. Um, as you kind of like head, like go to the leader, um, you notice that like its face is no longer a face. Um, it's just uh, yellow. Are there body any more mess. intact ones? Well, the one next to him's just been stabbed. Like that's yeah. it. It's okay. just got like a I'll nice clean one, yeah. stab. Um, yeah. Cool. Was the, the leader one a, a goblin? Really? Is that for certain? Uh, yeah, well, it looked very similar to all the other goblins of same height. Same right. Like a, it just looked a something bit meaner. similar. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you kind of wrecked his face, so we're kind of. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So I was like, it might not, it might not be like the best proof of goblins. Um, when he showed did, up, he looked it... kind of goblinish. Now, then he looked slightly did cooked it... and really punched. <laughs> I don't know, did yeah. he even get a turn? No. He stepped out, he used his turn to kill the, the retreating god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> his turn was just after yours, by the way, I think, so, yeah. It's why I was like, ah, <laughs> waifu is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but no, yeah, you can you can, you can can grab that, that guy with you. Um, you know what, I'll pop him on the trailer. There you go. 
Um, so okay. yeah, does do, does anything else happen before everyone just starts like trundling along or? Um, um not immediately, but I feel like those that took damage need to do their short rest. Oh yeah, for sure. Dice. If we are short resting, yeah, I'm planning on it. Cool. I was gonna short rest. Yeah, I like think like you, you can do that narratively rest. as as you like trundle along. You've still got like another not well, um couple Did days you get to action go. Search back on the short rest. Yep, that's broke. As that is nice. Get everything back. So you get action search, stone endurance, and second wind. All of them. Do I get spell slots? Uh, that will be in your how to play your class. Rolls. Mm. Mm. So hit dice. One d ten. Yeah, there is a button for hit dice, by the way. Oh, okay. Well, on on your sheet. You should really use that. Should I use it now? Oof. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, remember you've got two hit dice, Emu, so you can spend another one. I would advise it. Oh my God. <laughs> can you click it just, again? Just, yeah, that? just just <laughs> check that. <laughs> <laughs> that just actually really poor luck. That's just that's <laughs> unfortunate. I got a two, which is exactly what I needed, and then I was like, oh wait, the actual hit dice one, thirteen. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm good. All right, I need to I need to shoot off, guys. But thanks very much for that. That's fine. Right. Yeah, that was um, awesome. I enjoyed that very much. Good, Thank I'm glad. Well. well, I guess Talk we can wrap you. up there. Um, we'll just uh, yeah. So as you, as you kind of like um, you start like trailing off, and everyone who kind of needs to starts to to rest up and try and regain their their like their catch their breath and you know regain some semblance of normality again um you obviously take it in turns to do your watch and stuff the the rest of the the trip is on well the rest of the next couple days is very uneventful till you're just kind of outside like this, there was no point doing short rests then if there's going to be like nothing that came up well it's just, well, just outside we'll, we'll we'll get to that like next week if something happens but um no, well, I mean, go. If it's been a day, we've all had a long rest as well. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, so like, there, nobody needed to spend hit dice. Okay, well, then, right. unspend your hit dice, people. Okay. And your badges. Callum, just before I go, uh, I'm going to open that pouch, uh, but I need to go right now, so could you just, like, send me what's in it or something? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, and right. would you would you be like sharing it with the rest of the thingy, or would you, you keep uh, it? I'll open it and just have a look at it myself first, but then I'll decide, and if so, I'll post it in chat what's in it. Yeah. Is that okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Catch you later, bye, buddy. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. Um. Yeah. The the, 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 the I think the rest of the, the journey is kind of like uneventful. I, I don't know if you you want to have. Surely you mean level three, right? Uh, That's what you mean by uneventful. <laughs> No, no. We nearly lost dearest Emu. Um, does and does everybody else that? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you. Um, <laughs> does oh, um, does um, this is a space rocket. Um, does <laughs> anyone uh have any sort of like um, sort of like narrative chats they want to get done while they they travel on this? <laughs> yes. I, I I assumed you would. <laughs> um. Obviously yes. <laughs> So, yeah, Only with Olvec, like... though. So, so oh, you just okay. play Olvec for me. That's fine. Olvec. Stonebreaker. Uh, yeah, at some point during the next like few days, uh, during like more casual walking, I guess, I'll attempt to speak to Riggish Gorm in uh -huh. private. Cool, I'm just going to take... Gonna... Whenever that happens, if that is a thing that presents itself opportunity-wise. Yeah. Um, like like I said, you've got kind of like two two ish two ish days to to kill. So maybe maybe like a day passes once everyone's kind of rested and more more at ease. Um, your your usual sort of routine has started again. Um, and you can definitely have a chat with Brigish Gorham if Brigish Gorham doesn't just run away. Um, I think it's, I spend most of the time licking my wounds and fur. Yeah. Um, are you wanting to do that just now, or are you wanting to just hold off and do it, do it next 
next time. On Caverns in COVID. Mm-hmm. Not bust. Yeah, I don't mind either. Like, if you want to leave it here, we can, but I'm, I'm not fussed. Either way, um, I'm happy to have it now or whatever. Whenever yeah, you think do, do, you want to, do you want to just, like, do it now and then we can, like, kind of fade out and end on that conversation, however that um, pans yeah, out? Yeah, so I just take up behind Gorman, just slit his throat and walk away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fades to black. Right. To be continued, Swirl, question mark? Just do, a, just do a swirly tilde in the blood and walk a away. Swirly um, tilde. I wonder but, who could have done it. Who could have done it indeed? Clearly somebody trying to Love frame it. me. <laughs> <laughs> Happened before? Yep. Misunderstandings. Yeah, so maybe um maybe Gorm's like out in front of the like the slow trundling places, like as he's like climbing up trees or whatever he does. I don't know. Where where would I find him on his own? Or at least private enough to have a, a chat. Hmm. Perhaps after my wounds have healed, after a day, um, I go back to trundling around, sniffing and being a cat. So, you find me a few good yards away from the transport. Not bad yards, but good yards, good. Um, good yard. Good yards. Good yarns for good yards. I am. Um, I think like while walking with like the the caravan as it kind of like trundles past you as you're like sniffing around and I'll just kind of like stand as it like goes just maybe slightly ahead of us and I, I'll just kind of like stand side on watching you and then watching it just to make sure we've got a bit of privacy and stuff. I was thinking we should speak. What about? Just kind of standing there, the wind oh. kind of flicking my robes about yeah. a little bit at the bottom and I hands putting a clasp behind my back. And to say, your gift. She says, like, really kind of like straight faced. Mm, magic sure is nice, ain't it? It definitely can be, if used correctly. Oh, I don't know too much about all that sort of stuff. Yes, manners, I noticed. However, you use. Darker magic. What do you mean? I think, um, narratively, can I ring the toll of the dead so that you can hear it? Yeah, I think you can kind of like re recreate like the, the. I just like like just click my fingers in the air, then and you hear the same like toll going. Couldn't have waited forty minutes. I could not have. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> I'm already, hold on. Hold. Hold. <laughs> Anticipation. So yeah, uh, and you hear the same like toll of the dead ringing, um, like the kind of green, the green flare in her eyes as she does that. Is that dubstep? I don't follow. Ah, it's something from my world, sorry. Did you also bring this gift from your world? There are no such gifts in our world, no such uh, magic. Then it is fortunate you found your way here. How so? As you see. Magic does not exist in your world. Yes, it's good fun. I always dreamed of this sort of thing. Yes. Me and the boys playing D&D. Dreaming. Your talent should not be taken for granted. Mm. And she like turns to start walking so she can keep up with like the caravan so it doesn't go too far ahead. And she kind of like, you know, assumes she'll get you'll walk with her. Yeah, I keep just uh, prowling about in all fours, sniffing the air, a bit nonchalantly, clearly listening, but with other things on mind as well. Magic can be dangerous if misused. Perhaps you should hone your skills more carefully than the flare. You seem to have for them. 
just now. Mm, true, true. I haven't had a training montage. I just sort of feel a big welling of power within me and let it loose. Much like a dam, mm. it must be carefully managed. Could you teach me? I would have to charge. How much? How much would the milkshake bring to my yard? I knew it. <laughs> Thrice and twenty boys. Um, no, so if she doesn't say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Rewind back to that. And uh, she says, I could try, but I could not guarantee results. That part is up to you. Oh, the beat's doing nothing. Your enthusiasm is encouraging. Ugh. It's just me, man. Very chill. Perhaps it should not be you in this world. Perhaps that was you. Perhaps we still need to find out who you are now. Breakage of Gorm, nice to meet you. She rolls her eyes and, oh god, do they scream. <laughs> <laughs> She says, if you wish to study, you would have to take this and yourself more seriously. I would not be interested in wasting my time, finite as it is. And she kind of walks off and catches up with the uh, carriage. I think she'll probably just like nod very like formally. Um, and then she'll walk off to like the front of the caravan to like catch up with Thorbeck and whatnot and Emu to make sure Emu's okay. Yeah. And as uh, we kind of like have that... Um... <clears throat> As as you kind of like walk off to the to the front again with the the tavern, you kind of um kind of see like maybe the sun setting behind, um uh, and you know the the caravans are becoming more silhouetted and pretty looking, and then uh, it kind of looks back on British Gorm's face. Is how 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 is he looking? Like what's what's like his face portraying thought wise? Pretty content. He's got nothing to hide. He's just chilling out. He's sniffing, sniffing things around him. I mean, there's obviously not a big dark shadow over his face, so. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it almost goes <laughs> without saying. Yeah, he's. Said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, he's just, he's just, he's very happy. Um, yeah, that's fine. And maybe, maybe we kind of like, um kind of like fade out on like you, you kind of sniff the air a little bit and then you kind of like look directly into the proverbial camera and nod and then credits roll Star Wars intro no. music <laughs> um exactly dude like I am going to hop off now as well okay because that is fine. fucking late and I'm tired and I've got shit I need to do that is fine that we, that we require darkness for it's yeah, it's mm. worth not saying on recording. Yes. <laughs> it's worth not saying on recording. Just exactly, don't yes. film That's the fine. air pollution, people. Enjoy your mysteries. Enjoy. Yes, yes. Have fun. Yes, thank you very much for hosting, though, Mr. Blaine. Thank you very yeah, much for replying. Right, for the funny and for this squishing one. goblins. For being an absolute murder <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mur murder Shags machine. Screaming like a banshee. Him and you know combined, dear gods. It's awful. <laughs> awful. The quarterstaff, the most feared weapon in our. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, catch you guys later. Right. All righty. Oh. So, what shall we call this murder fest? Of you decided how you're doing XP yet? Uh, yes. When it, it's at my arbitrary milestones. Cool. Mine's so perfect. It is probably the better version, to be honest. Yeah. Especially for newbies. Yes. Cool. Um, I'm actually so happy with how that went. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, right? Um, like, in just sort of narratively being re seriously damaged and also seriously damaging lots of other things. <laughs> I understand why you were in isolation for so long. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that is actually exactly <laughs> what what like what I rolled um, for the. 
when I did like the traits and flaws and things. Mm. Um, so it, it played in really well. Nice. Are you assigning any inspiration to MD Callum? Uh, I, I feel like if Emu used his inspiration, I think I need to give it to him. For yeah, yeah, yeah. I used it for, for him pocketing. Punching and punching and punching and punching the dead. Nice. I just, I just really love so that. So is image. that how you want to issue that out then, for the, the personality traits, ideals, bonds and the flaws, or are you still working on how you want to deal with it? Uh, I'm still working on it, but um, I, I think it will have something to do with the, the traits and stuff for now, or for then, you know, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. We shall see. Okay, cool. Can I then volley for my inspiration to come back based on the I'm convinced that people are always trying to steal my secrets with him stealing my identity? Did you lose your warp stone? <laughs> <laughs> um... Do you know what? Sure, because I'm kind and benevolent. I was about to say ambivalent again, which is not. <laughs> it's maybe more accurate. I am ambivalent. Here we are. I get my inspiration back for not allowing Dig Dog to torment a sixteen-year-old boy. Um. Hmm. I thought you were the bright the... future. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Overall though, like I would say um the fight went fairly well. Yeah, I think that went very well. For you I, I mean, it didn't did go very well go... for um Mr Mr. Goblin Man. It was um a shaky start to be honest, but then doing nineteen damage in a single hit was it felt like I, I pulled my weight in the end, you know? Yeah. Happy in the first totally half. just necked that guy. Um, are we still recording or are we finished? Yeah, what? I was just going to say, like, what, what were you wanting to call it? Don't know. So, oh. reviewing what happened. Trip, journey, caravan, chaos. There you go. Trip, journey, caravan, chaos. I just caravan, chaos. Covid, like caravan, that. chaos. Rage of a quiet woman. It's not something. That's not a nice thing to call. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um. No. Yeah. I. 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 I, I like. Um, Caravan chaos. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Any objections? <laughs> or anything. As well, before we zippity doop. Yeah, it's nice to see the group work together. Um, to be honest, I like the kind of group kind of being almost semi-focused this session. Mm. That was a nice change. I enjoyed um, making progress. Yeah, it was... Um, it was good because I think a lot of the setup from the last session kind of paid off with the right mess around in town to create a direction, and we kind of did the direction. I would say um, I'd probably have moved us out of the town a tiny bit quicker. Um, yeah, yeah, but that's sure. just for the like people deciding what they want to do. It's stuff I'm trying to teach myself as well as I'm GMing is the how long do you want to waste doing stuff on like narrative admin um, versus just saying, right, does anyone want to make a big deal of this or are we mo montaging past it as everybody sounds? Uh -huh. um, but it was good because I liked Emu's interaction with the gnome was revealing even though Tilda was never actually in the scene with that. Um, oh, she might have been. No, she wasn't. Um, <laughs> Gorm was posing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, interesting to see where that goes because that's quite cool, like the, the word of a gnome and everything. Um, also, Rage Against the Goblins. Um, another good title, actually. Um, mostly, Emu is a scary person with a stick. Emu is very scary. I've learned this. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think I got very lucky on those rolls, though. <laughs> I think the, the two natural ones on the hit dice 
is sort mm. of the balance. <laughs> oh yeah, trust me. I know, I know the pain of uh, bad dice rolls as well sometimes. It's, it's horrible. Um, as the squishier people in the party, yeah. <laughs> I'm, well, yeah, because like, I've got quite high AC, and then I think they got uh, a crit mm -hmm. to attack me, so I was like, oh, damn it. <laughs> Whereas like, none of the other attacks would have, if they'd been on me, would have actually landed. I'd have been the very same if I was in the if I took that hit though, I'd have been pretty pretty useless at that point. Um health wise, non existent almost. Um was like ten damage in one hit or something. Yeah. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Um Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I think I'm I'm really enjoying the fact that I don't know, like Gorm seems to be doing everything right to lose Tilda's trust. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of interesting to see how that develops. Um, I'd say I'm not trying to be like that. It's just I'm playing the character as I see it, and it just seems to be you react that way. I'm just yeah. trying to be my, what I see Gorm as. I'm just reacting as Tilda would. Um, yeah. Keep so in mind, that... right? So think of it from a perspective of identity theft in a world without online presences would be somebody looking like you, right? So it would be a bigger deal in this world than just cosplaying somebody, right? In your world. But then at the same time, like, just cosplaying someone in my world, which I was at a cosplay convention. Mm -hmm. That's why I bring and, it up. Yeah, it's like, I can totally see Gorm just going, yeah, this is a fun joke. <laughs> But then it's on you to obviously interpret like Tilda's reactions to that, right? Going forward, so that's the interesting part of it. That's the part I'm looking to see how that develops. Yeah, be interesting. It's just whether or not she's learned, uh, Gorm's learned their lesson, mm. which may or may not have. Only you can decide how you're playing that. Yeah. Yes. But I'm de I'm definitely not going down PvP. Can measure I mean, that. that's a uh, that remains to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frankly, um, I can't guarantee I'm going to do 19 damage if I hit you though. So don't worry. Like that's that was probably a one-off, right? That just yeah, I, think I, I think I just die. <laughs> um, if you get no, you'd be fine. You've got more than nine health, right? You'd be fine. Hmm. It's fine, don't worry. You wouldn't die alright. Would Tilda be quick to not let you die though? Mm. But yeah, the mm. reason why I was. I, I like the, the necromancy angles, at least something we can bond on, because Tilda knows necromancy, and it's obviously something that's possibly best frowned upon in the world, um, depending on people's attitudes towards it. So. But Tilda knows necromancy, or she's just aware of it. As in, I have the exact spell you have. Told I it. Which okay. is why I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll know that. That's, yeah, cantrips are pretty easy to identify, hence why they're easy to know how to use infinitely um, from a narrative. Yeah. But yeah, seeing the spell that she would normally rely on, if not so surrounded by civilians, yeah. Um, yeah. If I could land those goddamn fans that yeah, did. I thought you yeah. were like the <laughs> angle of, like, I know what that is, and I heavily disapprove of it, and I might kill you in your sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that was more about you stealing her face. She cares more about that. That's more <laughs> of an offence because it was her face. She earned that. Um, she lived a long life to get that face. I'll have you know. Um, Stole it from many people. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, like the necromancy angle for her is a big kind of like an interesting thing because yeah, it's one of those necessary evils in her head. Hmm. But she'd from rather use like, perspective. Like, is that's why she used the light spell right after you, right? Like the big radiant blast, which was like, yeah, look what you can do if you actually, you know, study, as it were. She says as a sorcerer who's naturally gifted. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like that's the, it's why I chose Guiding Bolt as a thing, because it was the complete radiant damage versus necromancy that you were doing. Um, mm. So yeah. Her teaching methods may have already begun. Ha uh ha! -huh. They may not I like it. It might just have been a really good spell to use. <laughs> I like to think that they've already begun. 
<laughs> Keep in mind, Gorm doesn't actually know a single thing about spell casting. He just feels these things. So, like, I don't know. I, I don't think he'd be very academic. Also, I didn't study any of my magic either. I, I literally am my magic, so... Like, I'm not a wizard, so... They had to learn that shit. They had to put the work in. Hmm. Yeah. Sorcerers just are magic. Sorcerers are... Sorcerer, broken. sorcerer, <laughs> magic, wizards, wise men who learned. Supremely yeah. powerful, one could say. I'm getting there. Right? Yeah. I think that was the highest damage roll, 19 by 2. Uh, I think so, yeah. I think that was Diggy and uh, Emu both got 17. Um, so they were second tied for highest damage. I mean, considering that was just me with a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even have a stick, so I feel I still get credit. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's just monks are disgusting with like weaponry that way, though. Absolutely disgusting. Like, yeah. And if I'd gotten the, the two unar unarmed strikes in the same... <laughs> yeah. Well, it's when you get stunning strike, because my Yeah, I was looking at that. That was cool. Because you'll be able to stun a target, and then if you can do well in initiative, you can move in, stun someone, move mm -hmm. out, and let other people have advantage on them for a mm -hmm. turn, which is crazy good. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, monks are great for you. Uh, Controlling a fight, quite frankly, and and having just I, at first I thought ten extra movement felt a bit weak, but no, it's um, a big deal. No, <laughs> no, no. In that fight, like every time, just having that little bit extra movement to to land in the right place was so good. At level four, if you take mobility as a feat instead of an ability score up increase, so your stats can go up every like so many levels. Um, so like four, eight, twelve, and I think nineteen. But the, if you take a feat instead and take mobility, you get more movement, uh, I think. And if you attack someone and move away, they can't take an attack of opportunity on them. You don't have to hit. So you could, at, like, at that level as well, like you get like second attack when you're like level 5, for example. So you could mm -hmm. attack someone, then extra action attack someone. Then you could move away from those two guys, walk your 50 or whatever feet it is by that point to the next group of people and flurry of blows on them. And if you get any movement left, you could walk away from them as well if you've attacked each of them without any attacks. Um, That's crazy. Yeah, and actually seeing that at level 5, the, um, my unarmed strikes be a d6 instead of a d4. Yeah, your monk damage goes up. Also cantrip damage, some of it goes up as well. Not every cantrip, but the good ones go up at level 5 as well. So yeah. Yeah. Some, some good growth coming ahead. That's good. I'm excited. Uh, I'm looking forward to next week. Me too. Um, It'll be good fun. If anyone has anything else to add? No, it was fun. Nope. Thanks for having Excellent. Everything. Thank you all yeah, for playing. Yep, and yep, I shall yep. see you in the future. Badoof! <laughs>